right. And people come in after we get started, then that's okay. We'll catch them up. All right. And we're all being filmed, so you should know that in advance. So uh, <laughs> there you go. Right. Actually, it's just you. Oh, it's just me. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you want us to attract people to this? <laughs>
course, face-to-face -face professional development like this today at the summit, it's what it's all about. Like, that's the number one choice. But there's also stuff going on socially, social media-wise, that you can keep going on. So, MS Chat, every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Guess what they're talking about? Middle school. Middle school chat. And it's topically driven. So I was on last night. So I, after our little fireside chat with Monty last night, I jumped on an MS Chat and we were talking about how to do school and life balance as a teacher. Last year we talked, last week we talked about homework and the importance of homework. And it's not just people sharing out like comments like, the uh, homework's great, or the uh, kids never do homework, right? It's also people sharing links to important documents and websites and resources. So you don't have to like search all over the world. It's right there every Thursday at 9 p.m. And then AMLE has its own. We have these free webinars. So now we're doing AMLE web chat on Mondays from 8 to 9 p.m. following the webinar. So that's other stuff you can follow. Um, you can email me at any time. And I put up my contact information over here. All right, under the Enduring Understanding. So email me at any time. I'm always available. You can follow me on Twitter, too. I was tweeting during um, Monty's keynote. So if you thought I was just answering emails, that's not what I was doing. I was tweeting. All right. Uh, and then, of course, we have our annual conference, and it's in November in Nashville. And then next year, go ahead and put it in your social calendar. I know you want to. All right, so October 15th through 17th in Columbus, OHIO. All right. Okay, so I'm going to zip through some other things. Okay, there we go. Anybody already know us? That's what we do. 30,000 members in Rome. All right, so you should go ahead and be a member. Come on now. Okay, so this is what we do. This is who we are. It's our website. Go check it out. Okay, so this is who I am, so you know I didn't just fall off the turn up truck. All right, so this is what my current position is. Before I was that, I was a middle and elementary school principal and assistant principal. This is my 20th year in education, okay? Before that, I was a middle school teacher, okay? Sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, English, language, arts, reading, and social studies primarily, gifted, and then some other stuff too. Um, and there's a little story I will tell you about that in a second, if I have time. Before that, I was a high school. There we go. High school English teacher, so English, uh, basic English, 9th and 10th grade, basic English in Harrisonburg, Virginia, the number two poultry capital of the world. All right, I'm still searching for number one, you know. All right, so I had kids who had never read or written English or spoken English, some of them, and it was my job as their first year teacher to teach them how to do that. All right, some of them were working at the poultry plant, so they'd come in the next day in my class, and they would be exhausted, but it was my job to keep them up and going. Of course, oh, that's who I was before all that. There you go. Uh, yeah, right. All other photographic evidence of my middle school life has been, you know, burned. So um, I put that up there because raise your hand if you were a young adolescent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's important to know. That's one of the key R's, and that's a later session. One of the key R's to being successful in the middle level is remembering. Remember what you were like between the ages of 10 and 15. Before you pass judgment too quickly on a kid and their decision making, or maybe they didn't turn their homework in, or maybe they're not prepared for class, remember what you were like in your decision making skills. I was the most maladjusted kid, I still kind of am, but the most maladjusted kid you'd ever want to know. All right, I was about yay high, I was about yay big, I played tuba in the marching band, and I had a steady diet of Cheetos and Diet Coke. That was my whole life, okay? And I was the poster child for the school's abstinence program because I, I never had a girlfriend because of those elements. Wow. She knows it. <laughs> so, all right, so if you want to start an accident program in our school, all you need is two boots and cheetos. All right. So, <laughs> but we're not here to talk about all that. That's a therapeutic session for another time. All right. So we're going to do some speed learning, and that's why the desks are arranged like this. Okay, so I'm going to give you a number. Has anyone ever done speed dating? Okay, my phone thinks it has. So I went on one speed date, and it took. Um, so I'm going to give you a number, one or two. One or two. Okay, that's all you need to know for right now. Okay, ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. You already got it, right? Okay. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. Okay, everyone know their number? Okay. Raise your hand if you're one. Okay, look around, see your friends. Okay, raise your hand now if you're two. All right, good. Okay, what you're going to do is ones are going to move and twos are going to stay put. And when I reveal the question, very special question. When I reveal the question, ones are going to get up and find a two to talk to. All right. Now, if you were to do this in your classroom, of course, you would want to set norms before this and tell kids, all right, this is what we're going to do. I'm so excited that we're going to do this together. 
this is how we're going to move. All right? And I would actually get in my chair and I'd say, all right, this is how I'm going to walk to this table. Right? And this is how we're going to talk to each other. So this is going to be an exciting movement activity, but there are certain norms that we need to follow. All right, so you guys ready? One's ready to move.
commercial and have them finish it. So everybody knows that Red Robin one now, right? So the kids, you get them refocused, that's a quick way to do it. Red Robin! Then you know you got it. Okay? What? Or, you deserve a break today. What? At me. Donald's. This older one. I'm dating myself. You guys are going to be like the threes back there. Is that good? And you're all at the fours. Okay. 
So and you're not going to have to. You're just going to talk at your table about your assigned characteristic, and you're going to. There's your reading purpose. That's another thing too. Try not to give kids any reading without a reading purpose. Why are we reading this? How do you want me to read this? What am I looking for? All right. So you're going to square triangle and circle your thoughts. So as you read your characteristic, you're going to square it. You're going to think, all right, what's square with my thinking? What made total sense to me? Oh, I read it. Yeah, that makes sense because, you know, I, I get that about those kids. Triangle it. What pointed me in a new direction? What gave me, what made me have some new ideas? Oh, I read that. Oh, no, I don't think I want to do this in my class. Okay? And then circle it. What questions are still rolling around in my mind? So I've read this and it's like, yeah, I get that, but I don't know what to do about it. Okay? So square, triangle, circle. It's a, it's a cool reading strategy that works with kids as well as, you know, older grown folks. Okay? So, I'm going to give you about, let's say, three to five. I know it's not a long, long time, but I trust you all so much. I, I, can, I appreciate your brightness. So, I'm going to give you about three to five minutes to look at the characteristics that you've been assigned, and then do your square triangle circling with this time remaining and talk about it with your group. Does that sound good? All right, all right.